Hi guys, I have another Fix It Friday video update for you. We are installing the catio fence in this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my everyday wife life where every day is a fresh start. Okay, it's Friday. I don't know, like 7.30 a.m. Hubby's on the roof. Yes, I was in the middle of decorating and he asked me to out here and hold the ladder i'm like i don't want it. the roof is wet it's early morning there's dew i don't know so it's time to do that portion of the painting <laughs> i can't see them can you see them wave <laughs> oh <laughs> no he's up there doing that part of the ha the house I'm worried about this, like, down here. All right. Can we move the truck this way so if you fall, you fall into the truck? <laughs> not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Back it up. Put a blanket in there. Be careful. That makes me nervous. All right, so... He still has this section to do, and he didn't do the trim, because I'm supposed to be doing that. I just wanted him to go ahead and put a coat on it anyway, so I could uh, do it at another time. <laughs> oh, you can see him from over here. That, that spot's safe. You're not going anywhere there. What? I said that spot is safe. You're not going anywhere there. Yeah. Alright, so he got most of this painted. Did I already show this? I don't even remember. I guess I'll find that out when I edit. Um, I don't know. I feel like this should... Did he paint that? No, he didn't. I feel like this should be white. What do you all think? This is white. I feel like this... That whole thing should be white. I think he didn't paint that yet. So, of course, I'm way behind on posting, so y'all cannot give me your opinion on that. But I feel like that should be white. And then I gotta pick out a door color, too. I think I'm just gonna go still with the mustard yellow, but darker, maybe. So he painted the top of the trim. So I'm just gonna paint the front. I'm not gonna paint the top, the trim color. I think that's the plan. All right, so I took a while and was watching Hubby on the, on the roof, cause he was painting, did an ingenious thing. I'm like, how are you gonna get that bucket up and down? So he touched it to a rope, you know, and pulled it up and then lowered it down anyway. So. The catio has arrived, Hubby said. Let's see. That's it? No, there's one piece there and there's four other pieces over there. Where'd they put it? All right here. Oh. More pieces over where? Hmm. Oh. Your son went to in the bedroom to hibernate. You can yell at him. Yiggy's watching you through the window. <laughs> soon, Ziggy, you can come out here soon. Soon, okay? I think they want a window there too. A staircase there. Maybe. Okay. This is what the fence part looks like. Wire with plastic coated. No poles. Lots of pieces. <laughs> Not my genre. Kiki. An unboxing. 
Is this an unboxing? Sort of. Oh my god, lots of pieces. Zip ties. You enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'll be inside cleaning. No, I got stuff to do. And my legs hurt today. Those things are doing good The in the pots. Yeah. They look really good. Be watering the crap out of them. Oh, okay. The one out front looks like crap. It's bad for years. It looks really bad. All right. Yeah, Hobby doesn't want to put those in the catio because apparently they're poisonous to plant to cats. So we're going to put them in the outside corner. The inside corner over here is going to be the cat litter box. So we're going to put them on the outside corner. I don't know what the name of this is, but they look really good. I have one, I have one out front that's been in a pot for a while. It's, apparently you, you have to water these things. Why don't they tell you that when you buy them? I'm just kidding. The problem is we had a really rainy season and then I wasn't watering anything and then I got out of the habit of watering stuff and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, so this one, I might just take this out. Uh, this one right here is not doing well. So... But it does have some new growth on it. You just have to water it. I might go ahead and put that in the ground. Take it out of there. That's got to get out of there. I got a lot of work. That cat, that has needs to be trimmed up. That has berries on it. Hmm. Isn't that a boxwood? That turned into a tree? All right. Getting all the pieces laid out. Is that it? Is there more in the garage? Uh, there's one box left in the garage. That's for the actual uh, gate. Gates. Oh, and then this is all the tiny pieces. Yeah. Okay. Lots of zip ties. Can we spare one of these to fix the hose? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the gate. One gate. I thought we had two gates. I'm going to sit out here and trim some of these plants. This goes dormant during the winter. So I got to cut that back. It'll come back. Um, Carcoma? I don't know. I'll, if I remember, I'll put it in, inserted. But I'm gonna get the chair pulled over here. I'll be asking me to do that for a while. I didn't do my planning. I didn't go to Home Depot today, but I did do stuff. So, okay, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I brought this back. Like, I'm gonna put that in there. I really need, like, a bucket. Like, I have several Home Depot buckets in the garage. Probably not a really good thing to do with my back hurting me right now, but I'm just going to do this real quick. Don't yell Actually, at me. I think I'm going to leave it and let it compost. So that's cleaned up. I need to clean up this one over here. There's a couple of leaves. There's some dead leaves here. Shedding. I'm just gonna put it in the plant for to compost. They just start coming right off when I hit them. This thing grows amazing. I forget the name of that. Uh, what the name of that? If anybody's curious, I keep calling it a sea grape, but it's not. It's like Saloma, Selena. I don't know. Okay, that one's cut back. I'm seeing some brown on some of these, but these are uh, year-round. As well as the hibiscus, they will bloom. They're closed up right now. And you got more buds that will open in the morning. That will Those will fall off. They open once, fall off. The next morning you get more. Yep. 
you about another one. This is a different one. It's kind of peachy color for out there on the catio that he's working on right now. Cats are so curious. <laughs> soon. Soon, Pixel, you can go out there. It's going to take him about a week to put it together. And again, I've already said it. <laughs> I'm way behind on the painting, Fix It Friday, catio thing. So, you're seeing a little snippet here, but the actual catio put it together will be probably not till January. I'm not really sure. What? I know you want to go outside, but you can't. Soon. So I wonder if those felt pad things will work on these. Because I bought chair leg things, uh, but they're too small for these. I'll try it, because see, listen to that. No. So I'm going to try that tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to do patio, because hubby's doing the catio and the painting, so he usually takes care of the pool and the patio. I'm not taking care of the chlorine all that kind of stuff that well it makes its own chlorine but because it, it's salt water but anyway i'm not doing the chemical thing but i'll take care of the plants i think they need watered and clean up and need swept and i'll do all that since he's been working hard on all that of course cats are inspecting what i just cut Saturday, December 9th. Hubby's up bright and early doing the catio. See the progress. He's just putting up the post. One. This is the part where I don't I can't reach it, but it springs down so cat the cats proof. it's cat proof so they Maybe can't you, get out you can't reach it yeah <laughs> so i can't reach it it's wife proof too yeah okay so so we got going on here we got the fencing he's laying it all out son's gonna help him later when Whenever he gets up, It'll take a while. Okay, guys, headed to Home Depot to get a few things, and I'm going to get paint. Um, this is the house color, sort of, kind of. It's not exact. I don't know where the swatch is for that. But Hubby uh, picked this, and I picked that, or the other way around. I think so. I think I picked the darker. So we're just going to get a small sample and see what um, the trim color is that we want um yeah so i'm gonna do that and i'm actually picking the girls up it and we're gonna hang out for the day they're gonna help do the tree and stuff but you'll see that in another video way past all of this yeah i'm behind i've said that a gazillion times this is behind on fix it friday videos it's posting way late later than i filmed it like three weeks to four weeks yeah, later. I'm doing way too much. I forgot my coffee. I was sitting here on the bench talking to hubby and then I went inside to get the swatches and for to go to Home Depot and buy trim color paint. <laughs> I forgot my coffee. I need my coffee and a banana. I have no bananas left. I have to go to Publix. And there's hubby working on the catio. The man's relentless. Have you been out here the whole entire time? You're a crazy man. You are a crazy, crazy man. Oh. Look what I brought you. <coughs> Expensive Starbucks. Great. Thank you. Kissy. <laughs> What's that? What is that? Yay, a gate. Yeah, we're, we got it. We have to move these. They're not lined up. We gotta move these. Yeah, the That'll be fun. All um, the posts are done. Next step is uh, netting. Awesome. Make that a 
Now I'm gonna be confusing the crap out of y'all because uh, you'll see the actual footage of this in another video. That's gonna be a large area. That's gonna be a big area for the cats. All right, this is just stuff that we want to do this week. Finish the exterior paint, touch up, touch up the house, which includes touch up the house, doing the trim, the porch ceiling, and the front. Actually, we're talking about doing this too. It's not too bad, except for like there's a spot there, and you can see a crack in the ceiling here. But so that could be in the future. The garage doors need painted, and we the pool porch. The the walls in the back that was knee painted um touch up the front landscape we need rock by the ac and garbage area oh yeah uh, by the where the garbage area is i want to put and by the ac i want to put rock there um we need to coat the so stone on the front of the house with that bare liquid wet look stuff uh i need to clean the patio area uh, do the front porch decor. Haven't done that yet. All this stuff is sitting out in the weather. Which it hasn't rained. Touch up. Garage touch up. Hubby said today. I just did it. He said it was messy. The golf cart needs fixing and we're thinking about a shed. <laughs> this is a small shed for that side of the house to put shovels and rakes and stuff like that in. I, we found one on Amazon for like $289, so I think we're going to do that. We want a big shed in the back. There's like, I don't know why I'm showing you because you can't see, but there's like, the previous owner must have had their RV back there or a boat because it's raised up over there in that back corner. So it's perfect for like a bigger shed one of these days. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. We'll see if we need it, if it's even necessary. If we get rid of enough stuff in the garage, we won't need it. So, definitely need... The whole tool thing is irritating the crap out of me. <laughs> it's just a mess over there. It's just... Yeah. And it would be nice to have that all in one section. I need a wall. A big, long wall to hang all that stuff on. I don't have it. And what we looked up, they had a, a thing where you could hang stuff on the wall in it. It's like a lean-to, um, I'll insert a picture. It's a lean-to shed, so it's like, I don't know, lean-to shed. I think you know what I'm talking about. What are the cats doing? What are you doing? I don't know what they're doing. They're playing. And we started to write down catio ideas um, and stuff that needs to be done. We need to put swing together. But he walked away because he's over there. He's over there measuring right now for the shed. He wants to get it done. He's crazy, man. He's a crazy man. It's actually like 57 degrees this morning. What is hubby up to today? Is he out here? I don't know if he's out here or not. So you can hardly see that, but there's like fencing all right there. There he is. <laughs> Taking advantage of the coldness. I think it's not only supposed to get up to 70 today. How you doing? Fun. Well, you got some shortness over there. What happened there? Not uh, yeah, because It just means I have to put a little extra uh, strip there. Okay. Easy. Well, there's no, there's no strip on the ground. Yeah, there is right there. See? I thought. It, oh, the video showed like a lot more than that. No, I, I went back and looked. It was showed. It three, wasn't. Three squares. Okay, so that it goes on the ground, and, and then, then there's and then there's stakes, so they can't crawl or dig under it. Not that cats would dig, I don't think. But yeah. all right. Somebody's crying. Oh, is that the cats crying? Yeah. All right. 
Supposedly this is going to be, well, cat proof today. So we might be able to let them out in here today. Huh? A couple hours. Okay. A couple hours, hubby says. So, yeah. So this, if they try to climb it, they can't. See? It, like pulls down and then they'll just fall and onto the ground when they when they climb it so supposedly that works <laughs> let's hope so hopefully we don't have two smart cats that figure out anyway it was really open we're gonna put like a uh four by four post here to put and then put I don't know what you want to call it, arms around the it so they can climb up it and stuff. Um, they need something to climb on. So, this feels very open. I was worried that it would feel enclosed and stuff, but it doesn't. It feels super open. It's not even obstructing the view. You can barely see that fencing. It's awesome. It's like a plastic, it's plastic, it's not even metal. It's plastic, so I'm I'm cold. I'm going in. <laughs> Look at cats. Not yet. You can't come in here and out here yet. Daddy has a little bit more work to do. And then he put it the mesh here too, so they're not climbing up the screen and ruining that because they've been doing that from the other side. So. Of December, so hubby is almost done. I'm, I've been so busy. I haven't been coming out here and showing you updates. But he's got there's like this plastic uh, fence here, and then bottom that's wire with plastic coating on the top of it, so they can't. So it's stronger. Um, I'm guessing they did that because it's cheaper to do it this way and not necessary it's just to keep them in and there's gonna be stakes uh, see can you see how it lays on the ground here there's gonna be stakes or something pins something to go in the ground to hold that down so they can't dig under it and he still has to fix this so it's not so saggy and stuff but we are gonna let the cats out here and see what happens and see if there's any Thing that we need to adjust because they mess with it or something like that so and he has to you know cut things back like this everything's zip tied everywhere um it's a little saggy so you come back in with other zip ties and pull it a little tighter but you don't want it too tight because that actually makes it easier for the cats to climb see that's they're gonna climb on that and it's gonna be too saggy which is a good thing and i'm just loving how can you tell how it's not obtrusive is that the word invasive i don't know what the word is but look you can still see all my landscaping and it doesn't i feel like it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb um because if even you know that a screen would be nice but i feel like that would it feels open would be not as open feeling um, the cats are going to feel like they're running around the yard. I think it's nice. And the gate is big enough so we can pull the lawnmower in here and still mow the lawn. I was like, dang, I should have mowed the lawn before he did that. But actually, it'll be fine. I didn't think there was going to be enough room. But there is. So again, if the cats climb on this, this collapses and it makes them fall. And they can't climb over the top of that. So we watched many videos. I said, nope, it doesn't happen. It's pet proof. <laughs> you have this whole thing extra if we need it. Is that the bottom part? No, he had a shorter one for the bottom. I don't know what he did with it. Oh, it's out there. That's all this. Boy, they gave me a lot of extra. I think it's well, well put together. Although hubby said there was a couple problems with it. I don't remember what he said. The only problem I'm wondering is, and he said no, 
I'm afraid the cats are going to get through this space right here. But you can't, like, put this together because you got to be able to open the gate and stuff. He said no, they won't because they have to be able to get their head in there and they can't. So, I just wonder if we should put, like, a, the mesh overlap it but only connect it to this part of the gate so when it swings open it's uh attached i'll mention that to him just as a safeguard to deter them from trying i already got a customer wanting to come out here there's not gonna be you're not gonna access here buddy we still didn't buy the window yet i don't know the cat uh door window for now we can just take the screen off and uh close it at night the window at night or something i don't know anyway that's all the boxes we got to clean up we still have to do a, just a little here this hubby saved this dirt that he dug from doing the landscaping or to use for the litter box box out here we haven't figured out where or how we want to go about doing that um we we're going to put some plants not totally around the whole Thing, but in certain places we're going to put some plants on the outside to provide shade but to not take up tr inside here but not to take up room on the inside we want to get them lots of room to run around and play and chase lizards because that's what they want to do so again he still needs to plant some stuff there we need to freshen up the rock there um, now he put the hibiscus in here because uh the deer won't eat it it's he, there's a hibiscus that's going right here and um he has been in the pool area because the deer will eat that and chew on it and since we have extra room because it was supposed to come from this corner all the way to that corner so we bowed it out since we had extra um stuff and bowed it out that was son's idea I'll have all this extra room because guess what's going to happen here? Going to put stock tanks. Well, I'm probably the swing might go right there. We have the, that swing in the garage. The son's going to put that together so we can sit out here with them. And maybe so they have somewhere to lay. And then, yeah, I could put like a stock tank, a couple stock tank here. I'm thinking one, two, three, four stock tanks. Four stock tanks will fit right here along the edge. Tomatoes, peppers, what else you want? Stuff like that in the spring. I better get thinking on that now because. <laughs> so you do the self-watering stock tank thingies. If you don't know what that is, look it up on YouTube. I'm sure you can see it. You put uh, something in the bottom of the stock tank, tubing, and I don't know. <laughs> And then you lay a mesh on the top, then put your dirt so that it wicks up the water and you don't have to water it off as often because it's a problem in Florida. It, the plants dry out quickly. So, yeah. All right, so he's going to finish up and then we're going to put the cats out here. So that I will put a link to where we got this fence from. It, how much was the fence? 2000 261 something like that I think so I think it was $2,261 yeah, like I, I think that was reasonable oh, yeah. yeah but that you know so that's the fence but we spent money on rock and plants and, and stuff like that um, we didn't spend any money on the swing because it was free because the swing that we got originally was missing pieces and I'm like, can you just send me the parts? And they're like, we'll just send you a whole nother swing. I'm like, fine, do that. <laughs> they sent me a whole nother swing. It was ridiculous. So, um, yeah. All right. That's the update here. So, and I'll also put a video, some videos to this. People putting it together. Um, talking about how well it works. Yada, yada, all the whole thing. If you were interested in doing it, it's not sponsored. <laughs> I should have got a sponsor. Let's see you. Maybe, maybe they'll see this and say, do you want to do a sponsor? Yeah. Never happens. Home Depot needs to sponsor me too. Anyway. Okay, so this is where the cats are going to get in and out of. 
It's dirty. I need to clean that. But for now, we're going to supervise the cats in case there's any problem for the, at least the first week or so um, before they're allowed to come out here on their own. Make sure it's not a problem. And we do have cat collars that we're going to put on them with air tags just to make sure that's not an issue either. They're already waiting. They're, what's that called? Chomping at the bit? Is that yeah. what that's called? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let me out! They're not crying, though. Zeke was crying earlier. Did you want to come out, Rue? In a little. Like, ten minutes or so. Then you can come out. Oh, the cats are going on the catio. It ain't done yet, but we're getting there. Bring another chair or something. They're supposed to have their collars on. All right. What do you think, guys? Hey, hold on a second. So they're excited, but I think they are trying to find a way out, which is normal, I'm guessing. I, I think as soon as they figure out they can't get out, they'll calm down and enjoy the space. I mean, this is the size of some people's yard. <laughs> so, that's a nice big area. The landscaping turned out nice. Hubby did a good job. He pretty much did that all by himself. The fence, too. Sun helped with the fence, but yeah. What are you guys doing? Go romp and play. What are you doing? Hiding over here. You need to make a, cla a cat climber thing here. So they can get on that. That shelf. Put one lower here. A shelf so they can climb up on there. But not too close to the fencing. What do you think, Rue? You like it? All right, we got a temporary litter box right now until we get get one made. I put dirt in there and those bins and a little bit of litter. So. It's 57 degrees. And look, we have snow over here. Just kidding. In the distance, this flower stuff looks like snow. Look. <laughs> or flowers. Little, it looks like snow. Not. All right. I get my morning started. I gotta edit that video before I do anything. I was just having a trouble editing it because my phone is so full of clips I have to delete some so uh, yeah I'm gonna do that I'm helping hubby put do some stuff out here um Juan look at this filthy window you see how filthy that is I need to clean that the cats went inside because it's noisy. The guy next door is fixing his truck or something. So I'm laying out stepping stones for a path. Hubby's putting in another gate here. So we don't have to go all the way around if we need to go out into the yard here for some reason or another. So that's what he's doing. And he's tightening up all of the things. He needs to fix this corner here. He still needs to fix that. And over there... He needs to fix that. Um, yeah. Did I show the litter boxes? We'll see if they're using them or not. I don't know if they are. But we're gonna. I'm gonna get haciendas and do like a U shape right here. I might. I might do that today. And then just lay some landscaping fabric down and some sand. I guess. To, to prevent the weeds, not for any kind of thing. So he's working on the fence over there. 
And the cats abandoned ship. The cats abandoned ship. They went inside because of the noise. So, um, so I started a path here. I'm not going to have enough to go all the way around. I don't know that I want to. I think we'll just come a little bit this way. And, uh, oh, here's Ziggy. Ziggy, you going to come out, Ziggy? They're loving it in here. They didn't want to go inside yesterday. They love it. Looking good, right? Oh. Come out here to check on hubby to see how he's doing. And I stepped on a bee. <laughs> that'll, that'll serve me right for not coming out here without any shoes on. I know. So hubby's put up this gate. This little gate. Instead of a bigger one. Because it was extra in case we want to go out that way. We don't have to go all the way around. So, which is nice. It blends in with the whole thing. Aesthetic. Yeah. It looks good. And he's doing all, fixing all the tops here to make sure everything is all secure. Almost done with the fencing. Uh, yeah. That gate costed extra for that one. Quite a bit more than the other one, obviously. So, you have to fix that corner. You have to fix this corner over here, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, the cats are having fun going in and out. In and out the door, in and out the window, which comes today. We ordered it last night. It's supposed to come today, the cat window thing. So, because we don't want to leave that screen door open because the bugs will get in. And so, um, same with the window. We don't want to do that either. So, got more, still more to do. All right, so I went in the garage to get the umbrella in the stand. But I must have threw away, we had two, um, two umbrella stands and two umbrellas. One of them is broken. But I must have threw one away because it was looking janky. It was falling apart and stuff. And hubby got the other stand for to put the Christmas tree um, up with because the, our Christmas tree stand broke. Anyway, so we have, I think this one's broken. I think this is the good one. Uh, so we'll use one of those out there for the cats. And, uh, I was thinking about what else we want to put out there. We want to put a post in there with stuff for them to climb on. I think I already said that. Yeah. So I was wondering if we could take one of the empty bins, the older empty bins, cut like a door out of the bot out of it and turn it upside down so they have places to hide and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't... I prefer to use the black a black one, which we do have a spare, cause the aesthetics, cause it's black, cause it, it kind of you kind of can't see the black. It blends blends in with the the green, and I don't know what I'm talking about. There's the swing. I was trying to get son to come out here and do that. He he said he wasn't in the mood to do that today, or he said later actually is what he said. So hopefully we can put the swing together so we can sit out there. Oh, I forgot. I could be working on this. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Fixing this thing that I started the other day. I could bring it out to the table out there and see. I need something to clip it with. I actually think hubby has the clippers. I'll, I'll do that. I'm also feeling a little wonky. I'm thinking it's because I haven't been getting very much sun lately. Been inside doing stuff. So this is good to be out in the sun for a little bit. Okay, so the pet door, window, door. door. Okay. Kind of get filthy. Uh, what do you mean? Where? Like on the... On the patio. Uh, over here? Yeah. Okay. But the cats are not supposed to go in and out that. I don't understand. Oh, it's us that are going to make it fun. Oh, <laughs> all right. So the pet, the cat door game. I was trying to say all that, and people are interrupting me while I'm filming. So I'm going to put it. It feels 
like really good quality. I'll put the link down below. It it looks really nice and it's got the, the windows. And this is glass. It's not plastic. That's glass. This was 125. We looked at some other ones like 250. So I think that was a good deal. Yes. Okay. After a little bit of yelling at each yeah, other, yeah. <laughs> we cut. It was fine. It was really easy. This makes oh, yeah. the spring in and out, and it fits it just as justice <laughs> right in the window it's it's great the only thing is his hubby said he wants some brackets up there so i don't know somebody can't push this up hey isn't there those things up there don't they slide down you see the plastic things mm -hmm. see if those slide down well that ain't gonna help anything that prevents it from going up never mind i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> Anyway, it's got some, it comes with weather stripping, which is crap. That's not good enough. I think I might have something better. That's really tiny. That ain't I guess work. it's okay. I feel like it could be better. But then you have this too. So air's going to get through. Air conditioner. <laughs> um, maybe we'll get some kind of a flap to put there. Like I have on the slider. Anyway, I, it worked. It's working. This is magnetic right here. So the cats already know how to use the other cat door. So, but you know, they're unfamiliar. So we're going to have to show them what to do. Uh, have you finished this gate? So that's done. I had the hose out because I was watering all the plants on the patio. I cleaned the whole patio. And uh, I'm out here monitoring cats because hubby is doing something else. And already, like, the mulch and the rocks are coming out a little bit. I might have probably sucked that into the ground too much, I think been raised up a little bit anyway i'm monitoring them because we don't want them out here by ourselves i thought it was chilly out so i had my bathroom but it's not it's really warm so i'm working on this <laughs> don't ask me what i'm doing trial and error oh this wood is splitting right there i probably should have put some kind of varnish on do that off camera because i had to charge you charge my phone so not bad i just need hubby's help with this top part here yes. this time i'm not saying what has hubby been up to today i'm gonna show you what i've been up to today i put the camera down and just did some stuff so i'm just gonna show you what i got done because that's what i wanted to do today i didn't want to film everything every single little thing okay hubby's putting all the catio boxes getting ready to put them down by the road i won stained this bench but i think i'm going to paint it this color i had a little bit of stain left over so um i stained this it was looking i don't have any before pictures i'm sorry i just needed to just put the camera down today i didn't do vlogmas uh, this is going to be shown way after that. Uh, so I didn't film any vlogs because I'm taking like three days off of that. And uh, anyway, I'm just going to show you what I got done. So um, I started doing this, laying out the landscaping fabric. And I'm going to put rocks here because it gets so weedy there and it's a pain in the butt. I planted some of these that I had out front that I bought, what, like a month ago. I planted them here just to brighten that up a little bit. Um, I cleaned up this area, but it needs pressure wash. It was a mess. I had these laying around. They, I don't like the little white caps on them. What are the birds doing? They're going nuts. Anyway, um, so I just thought I'd put it there so I could clean it up. Probably put like a nicer fence there. It's kind of 
rickety. It's one of them things you, I bought on Amazon that I, is not what I thought it was. <laughs> anyway, and these need, I need new plants here. That's a plumera. It goes dormant in the wintertime. So, okay. I had to clean my lens. All right. And what else? Uh, well, not a whole lot. Let's see. Not a whole lot going on. I moved those plants over here. We're not sure where we're going to put them. We still have, you know, stuff to clean up. I laid some stepping stones um, down in here. I'm not, and then these need to be moved because uh, they're not lining up. But Hubby said he was just going to move a couple so that, like, curves and whatever. So, I don't know if I'm liking that or not. So, it looks cleaner. We need to do something with the dirt. The 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 dirt and the pots. That's going to be used for the kitty litter thing. They have been using these. We put a little bit of kitty litter and dirt here. But, I think I already mentioned this. Going to get some haciendas and do like a U-shape. And just put dirt and sand on top. So, they have been liking that. I brought this umbrella out here, but it's janky. <laughs> and I made a little thing with some boxes for the cats, but it's blowing everywhere. They liked it. They That was like a tunnel and like a little house just for now. Anyway, we're going to get some stuff for them to play with out here. And then, so I'll be finished buttoning up everything. And because this was sagging down and stuff, so it's all good. And the cats have been out here and fine. We do put their collars on them with the... Um, uh, air tag on them anyway so that just in case they get loose but they haven't even been climbing so they haven't even been climbing the fence so all right so stepping stones there did I show you the cat door we got a new uh, I think so a new window cat door the window needs is dirty and needs clean so Thing. but we've been leaving this open too but we can't do it forever because hobby won't use that so we want him to come out here so but you know flies are coming inside and stuff because we have the sliding glass door open because it's nice weather today i have this here because i need to replace it although there is some paint on it because this one is ripped so we're not going to be using it for that so this is totally ripped so I'll put that up there for now, but actually the screen needs replaced on this too. Have we got accidentally got paint on it? Um, let me make my way over this way. I yesterday, or was that this morning? I think it was this morning. I cleaned the patio, sprayed it down. Or was that yesterday? I don't remember. Pixel's hanging out on the lounger. Alrighty. So, um, I sprayed the, I watered all the plants. I think that was yesterday. What, was that yesterday I watered all the plants or today? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday I watered all the plants. Because hubby's been, that's his job, but he's been so busy and stuff. So he, so he asked me if I could do it. And I, I sprayed down the whole patio and stuff. Not real good. It, like I didn't do clean the windows with, I didn't move stuff to totally clean the windows I'll do that another day. And then he straightened up a little bit. But it was dirty. So I sprayed it all down and everything like that. Watered all the plants. Um, yeah, I didn't film that part yesterday too. So, look, snow. <laughs> Stupid flowers. All right, so bi Hubby's been busy here. I need to get busy weeding or something growing there. But the, bu the Exorias... Dwarf Exorias are getting bigger. The little ones, these are red ones and those are yellow ones. And the, I think I need to fertilize them. <laughs> so, hubby, this was where the water barrel thing was. Well, it wasn't there. This is what we used for the water barrel. It was over there. So, um, he moved it over here for now. Um, and all that's here for now. He wanted to throw away my... Um, potting bench but I I he saved it so it's a little janky so uh, rickety but I think it can be salvaged uh, maybe I'll paint it and stuff so there's that and I still need to do the screen <sighs> definitely on those two windows bad need it so I'll be starting on a new project today because he's crazy so we're gonna put a shed here
so we can put yard tools and some other things in here and get them out of the garage uh, and and have more space so I gotta go get some more pavers and he's laying a floor and we ordered it from Amazon and it was only $345 it's just like a lean-to small shed just enough to put some stuff in um yeah so he started on that today and um i was and so we got a little bit of a mess here we need to clean up and that's the platform that the water barrel says old cistern from our old water treatment salt water treatment thing uh, that we don't need now for the new one which is not new new but it's sort of new a couple years ago we got it so that's the platform for that and uh, he just put that there for now so all right so i'm not I'm done with the swing yet when I mean, that's the old swing i don't know if we can salvage it um so i started putting the front porch back together but I didn't decorate it yet, which would be in Vlogmas if I do. This is afterwards, so oh, I probably should put that away. So I just put a few things back. Uh, hubby painted all that. It looks good. And we're just deciding on the trim color, and I just passed that, and I forgot about it. I, I gotta go back. So it didn't really look that much different, but you can de definitely say this is what it was, and this is what it is now. So we're deciding on the trim color. So I don't want to put the everything back because I'll just have to move it. But I do want to decorate it for Christmas, but time's running out and stuff. Let me go back over there so um, and show you the paint color before I show you what I, else I, I actually did. So we bought two paint trim colors to do... The banding up around the windows and stuff is still gonna that still part is gonna be white but the previous owners never painted a different color and i kind of want it to be a different color so these are the two colors that i picked out i think we're going with this one yeah this one's a little too orange yeah and i also got some stuff to do the stone you can't even tell I don't think I'm going to bother. It's supposed to be, give it a wet look. Yeah, it don't, it, it don't look any different. So I don't know I'm even going to bother, except for maybe that one. I did a little bit there, a little bit here. We'll see. It's supposed to take an hour to dry and then you're supposed to do a second coat, but that's a lot of stone. This is not real stone. I'm assuming doesn't look real to me. <sighs> They're too similar. Uh, I'm sure it's faux so I don't know so it's made out of concrete so you're supposed to use it for that I don't know I like the way the stone looks when it's wet with the hose but I think it's definitely has been faded from the sun because you can see some spots like the porch is darker that's darker over here um, but the sun coming from this way all that is lighter so all that needs to be cleaned up. So I started cleaning up over here. Almost done. I need to do that tree. It's looking nasty. <laughs> Look at how nasty the, these pavers, borders are. I don't know what to do about that. Because to pre if you pressure wash them, which our pressure washer is broken, in here, then you get mulch is going to go up everywhere. I don't know. I don't want to scrub them and whatnot. So I still have that to do, but... I trimmed up this so it looks like it used to before. Uh, it looks a little... Because uh, I just trimmed it. It was big and full. And yes, I did not get any before or after. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just needed to do work today. So I trimmed all this back. Oh, I spray painted this because I have to do this every so every couple years. Because it will get faded. And these were black and I had some of this bronze copper copper spray paint i think i like that i don't think i like the finial up there though i think i'm gonna paint that back back black i fixed the fountain a little bit this plant whatever the name of this is was in there and it was not doing well so i put it in here and repotted it i still have to redo this did i water this 
I did not. I need to water that. So I need to redo this with cactus. I had a little cactus growing here. I don't have anything in there yet. This is all the... I have that barrel full and this barrel full of weeds and... Well, not that weeds. Many weeds. Trimmings and stuff. And I trimmed up this with the hedge clippers. Kind of left a mess. That one I started with by hand with my my hand clippers and then I went and got the hedge clippers because I was tired of doing it but hubby hates when I do that because see at least droppings everywhere but they'll turn brown and they'll be fine and uh yeah so and look at this look what I did hubby helped me just a little bit at the end tying that up there and I stained I think I showed that I stained this this has been here for years. I love it. I stained it and then re-strung um, it with some rope. And it's it's all level. <laughs> I did a pretty good job. Burnt the ends of it. Hubby said burn the ends of it. Um, yeah. And it's actually lower than the other one. So I can reach it better and don't have to get on the ladder. So I'm loving the way that came out. So I got to put some more plants on there. So, Yeah. I still have fall flowers on the door. Again, I have not done the Christmas decor yet. Um, yeah. So, did all that. I got a little bit, like I said, I got a little bit more to do here. Maybe one bag of mulch. Because, I don't know, there's no spots here. Maybe a few bare spots. But, also, I didn't do it here. Well, I did a little bit. Took the rake and raked the mulch because it's turning gray from the Florida sun. So I was using it. <laughs> and you can't tell now because it's all wet. But it overturned some of the darker ones. And so we got, it looks like fresh mulch. There was one bag of rock here. I smoothed it out here and pulled some weeds. I finally planted um, those plants I bought like a month ago. But some of them are over there by the garage. Um, garbage can thing. So I need to buy another one of whatever that is to put here to even that out. So there was some bare spots here. So I put a bag of mulch and spread that out. Um, the trim, it's all painted, but the trim needs, trim needs done. Um, that's all we're waiting for. See, like these aren't as bad, but... I don't know. I'm not getting on my hands and knees and scrubbing them. What It is what it is. I cut this back and then I it wasn't enough and I used the hedge clippers. It's looking pretty bad. I'm not liking these. We bought some new ones that are in the backyard with, in the catio that look nice, but I don't know. I don't know. They're looking weird. And that's Hubby's bonsai tree. And he, pot, he f put it in this pot one one year last year and it's doing good it was about dying um i trimmed that a long time ago these are looking good hubby's been watering he said look at the bright colors on these uh what are these called Ex no exorias no crotons crotons yes and this one's looking good too it's got some color on it So it's looking good. I think it was liking, it was getting too much sun. I think it likes that it's been cooler and stuff like that. So, um, was that it? Well, it seemed like there was something else I wanted to tell you. I think that was it. So, <laughs> that was everything that I got done today. So I just weeded and judged everything and watered everything and, um, yeah, hours. <laughs> I've been out here for hours. Taking breaks, sitting down, drinking my water, all that kind of stuff. The lawn needs mowed. Um, so I still have that half to still do. But I haven't I haven't been coming out here. And we keep saying I'm going to do it. And I haven't been coming out here. So um, finally today, I'm like, Michelle, let's put the camera down and just get to work. So it should not take me very long to go ahead. Oh, and I edged here. With the weed whacker. I got to remember I need some more string. I got to put the chair back. It won't, shouldn't take me too long to do the rest of this. These things, they go dormant in the winter. I don't know what they're called. There's some broken stuff. I'm going to put these 
put that one pot over there. I don't know. Those pots are looking sad. So it won't take me long to clean up that area at all. I don't think I'm going to plant anything else. It's late in the... I mean, you can do it in Florida. But I think I'll just wait till the spring. I was going to do a cactus garden, which I still can, but wait until spring. By spring, I mean February. <laughs> End of February in Florida is spring. Anyway, so that's what I think I just wait because uh, there's other things I can do. So, um, yeah, just got to clean up that area and stuff. You know, this is not doing too good. I always forget to water it. This is a desert rose. Uh, yeah, I put some more dirt in there because it was always falling over, made it nice and full. So hopefully that, uh, we call that the Dr. Seuss tree. Um, yeah, and hubby moved that plant over. It was way out there. He moved it in a little bit so we can cover up the shed when when we're done. So that's it. That's what I did today and I'm tired and I'm gonna go take a hot shower so yeah and I am a hot mess so tomorrow I need to go get the paint for the trim because I just bought samples and some more pavers so hubby can finish the slab for the shed that we're getting so probably a few other things so and maybe I can finally decorate the front porch Alright guys, I'm out. I'm gonna go take a hot shower. Oh, and I did clean up this cardboard mess and put it all in the garbage. That was the first thing I did this morning. And uh, so hubby can put it all out to the road. So it was overflowing with boxes. Yeah, Christmas, you know, the whole thing. Okay guys, it is Thursday, December. 14th guess where i'm going to home depot anyway i'm waiting for a sun i'm going to buy paint for the trim finally and some pavers and some other things anyway i'm waiting for him to come out here and go with me so we can help load the pavers into the truck it's going to take two people the person at home depot and him yeah because i ain't left in that back's feeling good i don't need to do that However, I didn't wear my shapewear yesterday. I know, I sound like a broken record. But I'm telling you, I put it on this morning. I'm like, I'll feel better when I, once I put it on. I, I wasn't feeling bad. I just felt better. My posture felt better. I just felt better once I put it on. Yeah, I don't know. Back from thing. Home Depot, three bags of rocks. We got like 18 pavers. We already, uh, we, there's no we in this. Unloaded on the other side of the house son and hubby son it went inside to die because <laughs> he did have help at home depot put him in the truck but he had to put him on the pallet and the, and still help put him in the truck too so he's pretty tired from doing that they're heavy so i i bought some paint uh for the trim but first where is the black because oh, she's been bugging me to paint the house numbers black so I'm going to do that uh, and I'm not going to show you because I'm not showing you my house numbers <laughs> alright now comes the painstaking job of taping this off because I'm a messy painter and I don't want it to get on the brick because you can't fix that <laughs> so alright Fun stuff. I think I need a chair. Yeah. Here goes nothing. I'm not taping everything off, then painting. I'm going to paint a section, <laughs> tape a section at a time, and then paint. Because I need instant results. And I see my husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get the black paint and do a little touch-up. I'm the touch-up girl. Okay, y'all, I don't like it. <laughs> I should have painted a bigger area than just I did on the side yard. At least maybe have come in here on the patio. I think it's too dark, but. 
If the brick was a little darker, actually on camera it doesn't look as bad, but it looks bad. Son said he didn't like it either. I think it's back to the drawing board. Crap. Yeah, which means the freaking porch is never going to get painted. I wonder if I can just get hubby to concede to wait until after Christmas to do it. I don't know. I gotta go make chili. I'm hungry. Son's hungry. I'm giving up for now. I can wash the brushes. Yeah. Okay, guys, I know this was a long video, so thanks for hanging out with me. If you're new to my channel, let me know in the comments below so I can say hi to you and stay tuned for next week. Hopefully, I can get you caught up to the current date on the catio and the painting and everything that we have been doing. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day.